Welcome back everyone. Today's video assistant is Mr. Glock as you guys can see here. Mr. Colt is right down below at my feet right here. So they're both hanging out today. So uh, good news is that we got a couple stamps back. So yesterday those of you who follow me on Instagram know that this Ditko can came in. We'll show you that one here in a second. Then today the stamp for this particular can came in. So uh, what we have here first off now it's, now it's full of dog hair is the uh, Gemtech uh, GM45 so a very lightweight uh, 45 caliber suppressor of course you can shoot pistol uh, rounds that are below that so 40 uh, 10 millimeter 9 millimeter all that sort of stuff and it's very short overall obviously Gemtech is known for making good cans so I'm sure it's going to perform excellently and then on the uh, Bergara HMR we have back here Ugh. we have this can this can here is the Gemtech 1, if you guys can see that. I'm not sure if the camera picks it up all that well with Facebook Live because the uh, clarity doesn't seem to be the best sometimes. But this, of course, is a 30 caliber can. But the beauty of this can is that while it's 30 caliber, it's super light. Uh, it's made of Inconel and titanium. I think that's the only thing that's on there. And then it has uh, the ability to take, to, uh, to rather to be used on calibers all the way up to 300 Win Mag all the way down to 5.56, five, I think with like a 7.5 inch barrel. So um, it is a very lightweight, very durable can. And we're going to be putting these two cans, uh, to, of course, to use. And we'll be doing a review on them uh, in the future. But I just wanted to kind of talk about the stamp process. So I have stamps that were put in uh, in July of last year. So July of 2016 that I still don't have back. That the ATF charged me for, so I know they have them. These stamps were put in in February of this year. And they came back today and both, well, yeah, today and yesterday. That makes no sense. <laughs> but who knows? I'm glad they're back, of course. Um, that's always a good thing to get your cans out of NFA jail. But the process, whatever the heck the ATF's doing, is just foobar, to say it, to say it uh, in a way that a lot of you guys will understand. So that's pretty much it, guys. The lawnmower of the neighbor is driving up, so I'm sure it's getting loud. And we'll sign off there. But I just wanted to kind of give you an update on some cool stuff that came in and then of course NFA updates as well which people always appreciate so thanks for watching thanks for subscribing thanks for following here on Facebook I hope everybody got the good deal that we had at Brown Owls this morning and uh, we will see you guys in the next video